Hey everyone and welcome to another video. I'm making a short little video on a pineapple farm. Pineapple prices have gone up. Everyone's been super excited for it. So this is ba basically what the design is going to look like and I'm going to have a little tutorial here to help you figure it out. Uh, how to build it this right here is okay he actually won the giveaway in my server to be in a YouTube video so I'm gonna start having these giveaways all the time uh, for each video before I publish it so one lucky person can be in each video uh, did you want to say anything okay yeah um, the giveaways are all on my discord server they're just there's no uh there's no requirements like to enter you you know um you could join the server and just enter all my giveaways uh all right so we're going to get into this real quick um these little modules right here I'm going to go ahead and show you the design real quick. It's a very basic design. It's very low. There's not much of a funnel. So your pineapples do not stay spawned very long. Uh, we don't like our pineapples being spawned very long. The shorter that they're spawned, the less chance there is for despawn. There is going to be 12 totems per module, um, which means you could build 49 of these modules. Uh, and this is designed to be stackable. Um, what that means is this little farm right here, you can build it on top of this so you can use these random totems for the ones underneath and the ones above. So you could do your module, random totems, and then another module. Alright, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, one thing I do urge everyone always forgets change your crate packer as soon as you place it down <coughs> I do apologize if I sound sick I've been sick um, I've had a lot of people asking me about this uh, video so I wanted to go ahead and put it out there it's a pretty basic design The glass is where your conveyors and your totems are going to sit. Uh, then we're going to have grass. Um, the kind of rule of thumb for this design, if you get lost, grass goes two blocks out from glass, except on the very ends. because you want your overall seed count to be two two seeds per totem basically I've had a lot of people arguing about uh, different designs and whose design is better and ultimately the design doesn't matter as much as your totem upgrades the way that you're going to make money uh with any kind of watermelon farm pineapple farm whatever is your totem upgrades uh, i publish these videos just to help people uh figure out how to make money in this game um these AFK farms are an amazing way to do it. Whoops. It would help if I plant the correct seeds, right? 
So we're going to run through here, planting all of these. And whenever you're doing this, if you just go eight blocks over, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then that's where your next one is going to line up. The only bad thing about building these farms is you just don't have a hot bar big enough for everything that you're going to need. So building it in sections is probably preferable. So I've had people ask me about these upside down stairs. If you see here, it looks like it'll block the item, correct? Um, the coating for the stairs visually looks like a stair, but actually acts as like a ramp. So there is a small gap between these. And you can see that by going like this. You see your item still goes down here. See if I have any pineapples on me. I do not. Try to grab one off a totem real quick. There we go. And zero. Uh, these are just questions I had about it last time when I published a video. So, well, that didn't work. See, it went through, and now it's in the crate packer. <coughs> I try to answer all questions as much as I can. Um, if you guys do have questions, uh, make sure you read through the comments, because a lot of the time, I was getting the same questions that I had answered, which isn't a problem. Uh, but if you just want a speedy answer for your question, uh, just make sure you check those comments. Make sure that uh someone didn't already ask that and it was answered before you had asked another thing i want i wanted to know from everyone um if you actually do watch this video i i just want you guys to comment what's your favorite pet in the game uh that's my favorite thing to ask people in islands because there's just so many different pets Um, my, my pet is definitely the snowman, my, my favorite pet. <coughs> you see, I actually have all the pets. I see Dave. That is definitely my favorite. So we're going to go through here. <coughs> I <coughs> don't not 100% sure if I mentioned it. I'm going to say it again. Um, there are 12 totems. Um, also, don't do what I did. Where I had um, planted these before building the rest of this. I'm just doing this for uh, for the uh, viewer's sake to show how it's going to look do not plant your seeds before you build everything that you want otherwise you get stuff like this you see how these totems are already pulling them over here if you do that it's going to be so hard to find especially if you use this this design for a watermelon farm because the watermelon seeds are super hard to see Uh, you can still plant fertilizer if there's a seed there. 
I'm just going to try to hurry up and plant. Now, um, if you do, like, let's say you do plant these because you're building it in portions, which is 100% fine. Uh, what I suggest is whenever you build the second one, plow it, then fertilize it, then seed it. It takes a little bit longer, but it'll guarantee that you don't um you don't lose where your seeds are at all right and then we're going to make a block of 12 up top you could use whatever you like i like to use diamond blocks because they're very bright very vibrant and who doesn't like a little bit of flex in their island especially if it's going to be making you billions of coins um, if you're just starting out, uh, you do not have to use tier two conveyors. That's another question I had on the last video. <coughs> uh, I do suggest using the tier two crate packer and the tier two input output though, because it just, it, it's so much more, uh, it, it helps your space management. All right, <coughs> now we go to totems. We grab all of our crop totems, except for the pineapple, because we don't use pineapple for random totems when we're using a pineapple farm. If you're doing this for a watermelon farm, make sure that you don't put watermelon up top. <coughs> the pattern doesn't matter. It's 100% up to you. But once you start a pattern, you have to use that pattern throughout the entire farm. I'm making a... Okay, and then um, I'm going to show you guys how to make the one up top. Uh, all we got to do is pillar up. Well, that didn't work. Pillar up. No bunny. Well, all right. The bunny's coming with us. I hope you're not scared of heights. So this is going to be our center block. Put the bunny back down. Okay. See, we need to go out one more block. The slime is super convenient here. Especially, you know, if you just keep falling like me. Um, the thing about the crate packer is you will have to make a little bit extra room for it on the side. And then you just... Okay, what I'm going to actually do here... Is I'm going to remove this real quick. Can the conveyor float here without anything under it? Whoops. It would help if I place it the correct way. Yeah. And then we can grab our watermelon totem. We can put it back. I don't know 
why it wouldn't let the conveyor sit right there, but it is what it is. Make sure we don't forget this upside down. Um, the biggest thing that I've seen people making issues with when they're building a farm, doesn't matter what farm, um, is they're not completely covering it with glass. And if you don't cover it with glass, you are going to be losing uh, some of your crops. Um, so it'll be making you less overall. Please, please make sure that you guys place all the glass that you need. Um, if you guys see me clicking to another screen quickly, uh, that's just because I'm making sure it moves so it doesn't log us out uh, for being idle. Um, instead of jumping down to do all that, you could actually just mirror this. you will still have to build the bottom part um, another thing I wanted to mention is uh, m uh, about my discord I currently have builders in my discord that w will be learning this design and will be available to build it um, if anyone needs a builder uh, I have builders and trusted builders in my server uh, so if you don't have anybody you trust to build for you, definitely you can come over to my server and get one of the builders to build for you. You just got to pay them uh, whatever you guys would agree on. Most of the time my builders are fairly cheap. Um, I just got done interviewing and... Uh, getting more builders up so I know there's a bunch of them that's just itching to look for someone to build for I guess it would help if I place it the correct way make sure we swap those to pineapples ASAP The only bad thing about doing the top part right here first is if uh, <clears throat> doing the underside right here, which I mean, you can just cut away some of this if you want. Doesn't matter how you do it, so long as you get it done correctly. Once again, I think we're going to have to move that watermelon totem. Which I'm not understanding why it's doing that. It's just being a little dumb today. But, uh, I mean, what's islands if there's not a bug or two, right? Put that watermelon totem back. Grab the glass back. Fill in the glass underneath. Make sure we get that guy in there. And then J. 
just like that. You have your now if you build if you build it too high like this let's put the conveyors in first if you build it too high like this you do not i repeat you do not need the totems above it again because they're already below it and they're still going to affect them these totems right down here are going to affect these still that's why we build it like this because you don't have to build another set on top that set is going to cover the bottom ones and the top ones that one's going to cover the bottom ones and the top ones that's the beauty of this design all right um so you can build these out as much as you want you can uh, uh, the maximum that you can do for these is 49 modules because there's 12 totems with a max. They max out at 588 pineapple totems, like working totems. Uh, that does not count your random totems. Um, and just some quick math, 49 times 12 is 588. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's, that's all I have for you today is going to be this pineapple farm. It's super easy, super simple. It's going to make a lot once you start upgrading totems, which I should mention the totems that you want to get to is you want to get your utility to 29. You want to get this efficiency all the way up. We're going to max this out at 53. And then we're going to take quality and we're going to run this all the way up to 53 as well. Uh, you do not need to upgrade your unique totems. All of those stay at zero. This should be your final product. You should be sitting at 29, 53, 53. There is no reason to go any higher unless you want to go up to 35. A lot of people do that just for the diamond look on the totem. But... If you're like me and you just hate having money, you can upgrade it all the way to have the wings on it. Uh, if you do that, it's going to cost you 37 gearboxes of totem. It is not worth it at all. I urge you not to do this un unless you just want to flex your island to your friends. There's materials if you want to screen grab that that you need for a full totem. There's more than that. Um, I will be publishing a list later in my Discord. It's going to just be a Google Documents forum that just shows everything you need for every upgrade and the total upgrade. Once again, we're going to come down here. We're going to talk to the giveaway winner. This guy, he's just a member of my server. He entered the giveaway, and out of everyone who entered, he was the winner for the giveaway. Uh, is there anything you want to say before we head out? All right. Um, I appreciate everyone for joining me. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I'm going to try to make videos more often, but you know, I've been really sick. It's been rough. Uh, hope you all find this video very easy to follow. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments, message me on discord, join my discord. Uh, I have staff in there that can answer questions as well. All right. I appreciate everyone coming out. Have a great day.